All right, so we're doing the uh, brake pedal switch on this uh, 98 K1500 Silverado, and Connor thinks he's going for a R-I-D-E, but he's not. So he can just lay there and watch us. All right, let me see if I can get this on camera. I'm going to do my best to get a light up under there and see if I can show you how to remove the clip and get the switch undone. All right, that's the culprit we're after right there. Um, I'm not sure how much of this I'm actually going to be able to get on camera, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you Take my hand up around this side of the steering column, and I'm right there. I'm actually touching the uh, brake switch and the clip that needs to come off. So let me grab a tool here, small screwdriver, and see if we can uh, get that to pry off real quick. I just got up underneath one side of it and it appears to be pulling off. I don't know how much of that you can actually see. I was hoping to actually get this on camera for you. There it goes. It just fell down. So this is the clip for this particular uh, year on this particular brake pedal. Now it'll lift right off that rod. I don't know how much of that you can see, but there's a um, your basically your booster rod is right there and that'll slip right off and it should pull right off and hopefully we have a long enough electrical connection that we can actually unplug that all right so you can see the electrical connection just has a little push tab uh, that's a lot pretty typical for a lot of the electrical connections in a, in a vehicle and that push tab right sits right in there so you would need to pry in on that I just used a little pick tool you could use your small screwdriver. All right, let me grab the new switch and we'll get that installed. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and plug the brake switch in to the power connector prior to getting up in there because I think it'll just be easier. Make sure it snaps in real tight. And now we need to get it back up on that shaft. All right, so that's probably the best shot I'm gonna get of that uh, new brake switch in place. I don't have the uh, clip in place yet. I kind of wanted you to see what that looked like. Just to give you an idea of how this needs to go, it's going to be like this, okay? And then on the back side here, uh, you see that right there, that slides down over a rod. So after I removed the clip, I basically spun it up like that and I was able to pull it off. It assembles the same way, push it on and then make sure that it's on far enough so that snaps down over that push rod that engages the brakes, okay? All right, let me uh, grab that clip and see if I can get that back and then we'll test it out. All right, so again, I'm gonna take my hand with the clip in my hand, go on the this side of the steering column, come up around, and I can actually, you probably can't see it, but I can actually get that on there. And then I'm gonna take my screwdriver and push it on all the way, so. Hopefully this video has been helpful. Uh, it's a quick job. It's a little bit tight, but it's definitely doable. Uh, you could even do it probably in the parking lot of your auto parts store. That clip just went on, and you'll know it's on all the way because now I can actually spin it. So thanks for watching. If you want to see more of this type of hit thing, hit that subscribe button. Leave questions and comments below. And if you found this video helpful, give me that thumbs up. I always appreciate that. Thanks for watching. Have fun. Most difficult part of this job was getting Connor to press the brake for me. Good job, Connor.